guys, this is going to be my contest entry for Tattooed Cookies Cupcake Craft Contest. Um, originally, I wasn't going to enter the contest because I didn't really have time, but I figured because, you know, a lot of people in the groups consider me, well, they call me Cupcake Princess, so I kind of figured, you know, it would be like law-breaking if I didn't enter, so... Um, I decided to whip up a couple things, and I hope you really like them. Um, I think they came out adorable, and I tried to be really creative and unique with this. Um, I tried to avoid polymer clay and resin because I knew a lot of people would do that. Not saying there's anything wrong with it, but I wanted to do something a little bit more out of the box, obviously. So, um, yeah, I will just get into showing you my entries. I'm actually wearing a couple of my entries. Um, first would be this cupcake bow and I used really weird materials for this I used wrapping paper um, vinyl some cupcake ribbon and of course you can see I'm moving around in there um, those are real sprinkles um, it's on a two-way clip I'll do a um, close-up shot for you but this is what it looks like on me so yeah I really, really love this. I think it's so cute. So yeah, that's my, my first second entry. entry is um, this skirt that I'm wearing. It's um, a peplum skirt that has pink um, icing and then a purple cupcake base. Um, the um, icing has like a dripping effect. It's different. It's asymmetrical all around. And then I added some big and medium sized pom poms in pastel colors and some pastel hearts to mimic the sprinkles. Um, the base skirt itself is um, pleated to look like a cupcake wrapper. And I think it came out really cute. This is how it looks. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Um, as far as the skirt goes, I obviously can't send you that because it's my size and girl, I know we are not the same size. <laughs> I know I'm bigger than you, but whatever. Um, if you would like one though, I can definitely make one in your size. Just, you know, you just have to send me your um, measurement of your waist and wherever you would like um, it to sit. It is an elastic waistband. So um, I tend to wear my skirts higher up on my natural waist and um, but you can wear it also um, around your hips or anything like that and I can make it whatever length you would want. I don't have to put the pom-poms, I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, but I like things that are cutesy and maybe a little bit tacky, but um, yeah, so I could definitely make one in your size, I have no problem doing that. Um, and yeah, I could totally customize it. I could do different colors, whatever you would like. Um, so yeah, that's my second entry. My third entry is this Decoden cupcake photo holder. Um, I kind of wanted to avoid Decoden, but I figured, you know, it's something that I think I'm good at. So why not just do it? And I tried to do something, once again, different. So I did this over-the-top um, pink and purple themed cupcake photo holder you can see it's holding my business card but um you could put your business card in it you could put pictures you could put you know pretty much anything whatever you want to put and you just put this on your desk or um in your kids room or you know anywhere that you just think needs a little bit of cute cupcake action um this one has some hello kitties barbie and ice cream cone little bunny back there, a heart, and then lots of rhinestones, and then Hello Kitty canes, um, some pink and purple star confettis, and then there's glitter dripping down the sides, and it's in a pink wrapper. It's relatively lightweight, um, but like I said, you could put it wherever you want, and yeah, there's actually um two places you could put pictures like I have it in the back but you could also put one in the front so if you wanted to do a business card here and then a picture in the back you could do that but um yeah so this is my 
third entry. My fourth and final entry is something that isn't really anything. It's kind of just like a cute craft. Um, it's this rainbow cupcake. Um, it's um, fuzzy up top and then the bottom is um, glittery foam. And then you can see there's some jelly rhinestones sprinkles. And then the base is, like I said, glittery white foam. And then it has rainbow rickrack. Um, this is, like, here's my hand for reference. It's about the size of my hand, and I have rather large hands. So it's pretty big. Um, I was gonna, when I initially thought of the idea, I was going to make it into either a pin or a hair clip. It's way too big for that, even for me. So I'm just um, kind of leaving it blank. You can do what you want with it. I thought about um, making it into a Christmas ornament, but I think it's even a little bit too big for that. It's not heavy, but it's still pretty big. Um, so, you know, you can make it into a magnet or a wall hanging of some sort or something like that. Um, I just thought it came out really cute and I thought you would like it. So, yeah, there is that. Like I said, I'll just leave it blank so you could do what you want with it, but... That's how it looks. Kind of a close up for you. And yeah, that is my final entry. So yeah, that's it. Those are my entries. Um, I hope you really like them. I had a lot of fun doing them. Even though, like I said, it was kind of a last minute decision. I, you know, I just got creative inspiration like that and I had to do it. So. Yeah, um, I don't know if it was clear before, but I will definitely send you the entries if you would like them. Um, like I said about the skirt, I will not send you this one. I will send you one custom, though. I will happily make one for you. Um, I just need your waist measurements, you know, the length you would like it, any colors, and um, stuff like that. So I, I'm not sure if you're interested, but if you are, I will definitely make you one and send it to you since I can't send you this one. Um, but this is yours if you want it this is yours if you want it and of course this is yours if you want it so yeah that's it um like i said i hope you enjoyed watching and i just wanted to say thank you for having this contest and i think it's really awesome of you and despite all the hate and everything that you got all the stupid drama about the giveaways i'm glad that you're still continuing to do this contest and it I really appreciate it I know a lot of people really appreciate it and I hope you get some great entries and that's about it good luck to everyone else who is entering and yeah um that's it this is my very first contest that I've ever entered so I'm kind of scatterbrained and I don't know what to say but I hope you saw my entries well enough and yeah, I will post um, pictures at the end of this video so you can see them better, and then um, I'll try to do some close-up clips and everything, so yeah, that's about it. Bye!